Friendship with God An Uncommon Dialogue Twenty What does it mean to have a friendship with God? It means having wisdom such as this at your fingertips. Any time, any place, anywhere. It means never wondering, ever again, what to do, how to be, where to go, when to act, or why to love. All the questions disappear when you have a friendship with God, because I will bring you all the answers. In truth, I will not bring you any answers at all, but simply show you that you have brought them with you when you came into this life, that you have had them all along. I will show you how to call them forth, how to have them radiate from your being in the space of any problem, any challenge, any difficulty, so that, in fact, problems, challenges, and difficulties are no longer part of your life, but will be replaced by simple experiences. To the outer world it may very well appear as if nothing, in fact, has changed. And, in actual fact, nothing may have changed. You may continue to be confronted with the same conditions. Only you will sense the difference. Only you will notice the shift. It will be an experience of your inner world, yet it will begin to affect your outer world as well. And while others may not see a change in your conditions, they will see a change in you. They will wonder about this change. They will marvel at it. And eventually, they will inquire about it. What will I tell them? Tell them the truth. The truth shall set them free. Tell them that nothing has changed in your outer world. You still have toothaches. You still have bills to pay. You still put your pants on one leg at a time. Tell them that you still face conditions you once described as less than perfect, you still confront all the rough and tumble encounters of life. Tell them that nothing has changed but your experience. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What do you understand the word experience to mean? Well, the Random House Dictionary of the English Language defines experience as the totality of the cognitions given by perception, all that is perceived, understood, and remembered. Good. And so, when you know life's great truths, what changes is the totality of your cognitions. Your experience includes all that is perceived, understood, and remembered. That is the important word, remembered. In short, your experience changes when you remember, totally, who you really are. I am here to help you remember. You are here to help others remember. As you remember, you remember, that is, become a member once again of the body of God. You become one with all that is, though the part of you that expresses the whole in a specific individuation does not disappear. But, quite to the contrary, appears more gloriously than ever before. When your individual expression is that glorious, others may call you God, or the Son of God, or the Buddha, the Enlightened One, the Master, the Holy One, or even, the Savior. And you will be a Savior, come to save everyone else from forgetfulness, from not remembering their oneness, from acting as if they were separate from one another. You will spend your life working to end this illusion of separateness. And you will join with others who are doing so also. You have been waiting for these others. You have been waiting for them to show up in your life, to make themselves known to you. Now you have found each other. And you are no longer alone in this work. 
This is what it means to have a friendship with God. It means to no longer be alone. So now, as you go about your day-to-day -day life, know and understand that nothing is ever going to be the same. Your friendship with me has changed everything. It has brought you my partnership and my love, my wisdom and my awareness. You will now be aware, and you will be aware that you are aware. You will walk in wakefulness. You will grok in fullness. Except when you do not. There may be times when you will slip back into forgetfulness, when you imagine yourself to be other than who you really are. At those times, in particular, use our new friendship. Call on my name, and I will be there. I will show you to your answers, I will lead you to your wisdom, I will give you back to yourself. This, then, do for all others. Give people back to themselves. This is your assignment, this is your mission, this is your purpose. And through their friendship with you will they come to know that they have a friendship with God.